Okay, here's the mighty Athabasca River. Looks like Jasper had some rain recently. The view is kind of nice, you know, depending on how you look at it. <laughs> well, guess what, folks? Day 26. Still hazy, but I'm leaving Robson this time and uh, heading back to Jasper. But the uh, haze has lightened up a little bit and you can actually see some of the peaks. So I'm going to do a little 360 and uh, hopefully you'll be able to see something. <laughs> but I did say take some photos so uh, it'll be a little bit more apparent if you can't see it through this lens, but hopefully through another. But uh, even Robson seems to be still pretty faint. But we'll see what you can see. How's that? Here it is. So there's Robson. Uh, that is Cinnamon Peak. Overlander. And the pointy one is Clapperhorn. Cool, huh? Anyways, so time to get out of here. See ya. All right, guys, hang tight. Back in Jasper. And got some elk coming up. Lots of elk on this corner today. And you. That's it. Hey folks, Mike here. So I'm back in the uh, RV and I finally made it to Jasper. There was very little along the way to, um, to video. Just a guy did stop and take some pictures of Moose Lake but the haze and the fog is uh, is pretty thick even here in, uh, in Jasper. I can hardly see any of the peaks at all, uh, like very, very faint outlines. Um, but the more important thing that I had to do today was uh, make some calls about getting the stone chip repaired in the windshield. Unfortunately, there was really only one place in Jasper and today is Friday and they can't accommodate me today and they're closed on the weekend. So. I didn't really want to hang around Jasper unnecessarily. I'm sure there's more to see, but I really wanted to get moving along back down towards Peter Lockheed. So I took a look at the itinerary, which was, you know, kind of in flux anyways. Like I didn't really have anything uh, set in stone in terms of my return to Calgary, um, other than spending the night in Calgary so I could drop off the uh, camper in the morning uh, on time without getting penalized for a late drop-off. So I was able to find some place in Calgary that said that basically anything up to the size of a loonie they can repair for $40. Um, they can accommodate the size of the vehicle, that's not a problem. So I'm just going to have a day in Jasper and then um, probably spend the night at the Icefields uh, RV parking lot which was, if you recall in, the, in another video, it's basically right in front of uh, the Athabasca Glacier. So there's um, a really big parking lot available for RVs there. And it's also cheaper than the campgrounds here in Jasper National Park as well. I have enough water. I'm just going to get some fuel before I leave town. And the only things that I'm going to look into today are going to be the old Fort Point Trail. So it's a 3.8 kilometer loop and it kind of oversees the town and the area a little bit. So going to be debatable as to how much I'm going to see again just because of the haze and the fog today. But um, I still want to get at least some kind of a hike in today. And then tonight, Icefields Parkway. We've already explored the glacier and whatnot, so there's not much more to see. But on my way to the um, Icefields, is Athabasca Falls, which I'll be checking out. Hopefully I don't drive right by it because some of those things along the uh, Icefields Parkway are, um, they're, they're, they come up pretty suddenly without a lot of warning. So hopefully I can uh, I can pull over in time. And then after that, Peter Lahey Provincial Park, I think. Uh, I'm gonna check into what their availability is for a couple of nights there, do some hiking in there. And um, that's gonna be Pretty much a wrap of my two weeks with this camper. All right, folks, so you know the drill. Questions, concerns, comments, leave those in the comment section below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. 
Like, subscribe, hit that bell if you could, please. It'll help me out tremendously. Thank you very much, and thank you for following. Next up on the list, the Old Fort Point Trail. Stay tuned. Okay, here's the mighty Athabasca River. Made it to the Old Fort Point Trailhead. Wanted to get a grab a shot of this before I headed it up to the trail. But away we go. I got the trail. And uh, looks like Jasper had some rain recently. So everything is just a little bit more vibrant in color right now. You can see some glistening on some of the branches. So the old Fort Point Trail is a 3.8 kilometer loop with I think it's at 138 meters of elevation gain and I think I'm gonna go take a peek. Yellow squirrel. Hi, right, little squirrel. Don't worry. You can go. It's okay. He's all worried. He's got nothing to worry about. Stick to the main trail here. But I wanted to take a peek. Lots of people in the uh, parking lot, but appears to be a few trails that kind of converge at that parking lot. One of which actually follows the Athabasca River um, along the duration of the town limits and then back again. So see how I do with this trail and then See how we're doing on time. Up in there. Now, so far it's been a pretty gentle slope, but I'm only maybe a few hundred meters in. And there's some was some nice runoff off to the side. Water that is. Coming up again. I'm not sure if that's a natural channel or the park service kind of cut that in to drain water away from the trail. Nice. One little peak. Nice little clearing. Oh, look. River crossing. Continue on trail number one, back into the trees. So I already had one fork to deal with, but I'm gonna be just following the main path here. It's uh, actually really humid in the uh, in the forest here. I thought when I first got out of the uh, the camper, it was gonna be nice, but I think it was just a cool breeze coming off the, off the Athabasca, Athabasca River. <laughs> um, but it is quite humid in here. A little bit of an ascent and then down again. I've got another little hill here and uh, one rock that seems to be just jutting out of nowhere. So I'm gonna take you along for that ride. And here's the way just traveled. A little bit of a view of the forest. Gonna make our way up there. And big old rock. And a big old climb. Ooh. Big old climb just got bigger.
Ooh. Humidity, a little bit of warmth. Ooh. Can suck the life right out of you. I don't push. Well, for this hill anyways. Yeah. Right. I'm gonna sit you down now for a bit. So I found a path that was not part of the main path slash trail. And I took it and I'm not really disappointed. Like. The view is kind of nice, you know, depending on how you look at it. <laughs> the haze is definitely not helping much. And up where that boulder is, if you can see it, let's see if I can point it out for you guys. Right there is a pair of red chairs, which are set up by Parks Canada at various locations. But there's no safe way for me to continue back behind me and get up that other hill. So I'm gonna backtrack, get back onto the trail, the actual trail, and um, see if I can find my way up to the red chairs. Oops. But still a really nice view up here. Wish it was a little clearer so I could show you guys more of the mountains. Like over there, for example. And over there yonder in that nice peak up there but unfortunately haze says otherwise okay back on the trail remember those red chairs i was telling you about well check this out a seat That is impressive. 